Hi, my name is Vignesh Nathan. I'm an applications engineer with Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm going to make you aware of our uh, SD card UHS-2 uh, compliance application. So I'm going to show this uh, demo on a S-series oscilloscope. Uh, you might be aware that we do have a UHS-1 um, solution or compliance app. And uh, we do have it in the uh, demo visit of the oscilloscope. We have an example report that shows you the UHS-1 um, uh, test that we do with the results and how it looks like. So please look through this if you're interested in UHS-1. Um, you notice that we don't have UHS-2 in the demo visit, and that is why this video was made. So let me close this. Let me open up the UHS-2 uh, test app. So I'm going to assume that you're pretty familiar with the compliance application um, visit on our oscilloscopes. So you, this first page is the setup page where you choose what sort of test you want to do. Um, also, you can select uh, what sort of test points uh, and all these other things here. You notice that for UHS-2, you can actually run the test on saved waveforms. So make sure you select that. And then when you go in here, um, you have to put in the paths for all of these files, otherwise the app will give you an error. So, for example, in my case, I have all single-ended files, so it wants the pattern data, I'm going to select it. Uh, data chain A uh, is the positive, data chain B is the negative. And then the 0101 pattern for the clock. And go and set the reference clock uh, waveforms as well. So these are uh, files are provided by the factory to us. Um, and that is what I'm going to use to show the uh, result for this demo. Next, you go and you can select the test that you want to do. So for transmitter tests, we do signal quality and common mode voltage. Uh, for reference clocks, we do signal quality and common, common mode voltage as well. For signal quality, we do uh, the IMI, uh, all the tests that you can see here. So feel free to pause the video now and take a look at them. For common mode, we have this too. Uh, the same goes for reference lock, but I guess there's no um, IMS test here. And for the common world, that is the test that we do. So you can pause this video here um, to see all the tests that we do. But uh, I'm going to continue now. Uh, in the configure tab, these are the configurations that you can tweak. Um, I would recommend uh, selecting debug because uh, there may be more options here for you to tweak it when you select debug than when you have it as compliance. Uh, one, once you have um, selected one of the tests, so let me do this, the uh, connection diagram appears that tells you how to connect it. And once you have done that, you can click on this and run the test. So since I've uh, I want to save the time on this video. I am going to load a uh, previously run uh, te uh, test project and show you uh, how the results look like. So as you can see here, I did some um, reference lock and um, device tests. 
So some of the tests didn't run because on the saved waveforms it didn't have the features that the test was looking for. So that's why you see only a subset of uh, the test. But this should be good enough to show you the type of results that the, that our compliance app can give it to you. So you can see the waveforms are all in there. Um, there's some judo measurements as well. And the eye template, the, the scope actually aligns it correctly for you automatically. So you, when you run the test, you see this crossing kind of in the middle of the mask, but then the scope moves it and sets it right. And the pale region shows up as red. So yeah, thank you for your time in watching this video. I hope you are now more aware of our uh, SDUHS2 uh, compliance application. Uh, feel free to give the Technical Support Center a call if you need uh, any further questions answered.